When the 21st century started 23 years ago, ice hockey didn't exist in Belfast or anywhere else in Northern Ireland. But what did exist was a deep historic divide between the Protestant and Catholic communities. The three decades of sectarian clashes known as the Troubles cost over 3,500 lives as Belfast made news all over the world for all the wrong reasons. Even Irish sports were divided. Hurling and Gaelic football were Catholic Republican. Cricket, and to some degree rugby, were Protestant loyalists. Football belonged to all, but separately. A football club was either Protestant or Catholic. It was in this very segregated society that the Belfast Giants Hockey Club was founded in 2000. They played a sport which was virtually unknown in Ireland, but also a sport that didn't carry a divisive history and did everything to be inclusive. The club's slogan became, in the land of the Giants, everyone is equal. The club colors were carefully chosen, teal and pale red, colors that have no association with the British Union Jack or the orange and green on the flag of the Republic of Ireland. The only jerseys permitted inside the arena are those for hockey. The club specifically forbids the wearing of football colors, replica football jerseys, which might stir sectarian resentment. The Belfast Giants game is one that is for all the people of Belfast. Despite these historic social accomplishments, the Belfast Giants' immediate future was at risk 10 years ago when Robert Fitzpatrick took control of the club together with the Odyssey Trust charity. But despite that, the team was losing money at the time. Robert Fitzpatrick saw the bigger picture, the huge impact this neutral, non-sectarian sport had within the communities of Northern Ireland. On the ice, the Giants have gone from strength to strength under Robert's leadership, winning eight out of the last available domestic trophies over the past four seasons, including the historic domestic treble this season, the Cup, the League and the playoffs, and furthermore, qualifying for the Champions Hockey League. The Belfast Giants have increased their average attendance to almost 6,000 fans per game. And Robert Fitzpatrick has turned a Giants game into the best night out in Belfast and a profitable business along the way. But social and humanitarian aid remain as core values of the club. Even as the season was over after the Belfast Giants won the playoff final against their Welsh rival, Cardiff Devils, Robert Fitzpatrick was behind the Hockey Can't Stop Tour where the Giants played Ukrainian team Dnipro Kherson in front of a sold-out SSE arena in Belfast. After the game, a check for £50,000 was presented to the visitors and the Ukrainian Hockey Dream Charity. Robert Fitzpatrick ensures that all these events include some form of outreach, including free tickets to the communities of Belfast that wouldn't normally have access to experiences like this. And all Giants players have community outreach clauses built into their contracts. For these groundbreaking accomplishments, including the Giants participating in a number of important community programs, such as the Fresh Start program, which uses sports to prevent kids from being recruited into paramilitaries, Robert Fitzpatrick is the 2023 recipient of the Alliance of European Hockey Club's Leadership Award.